Orangeburg will soon get a unique chance to see the paintings of an Orangeburg native newly restored. News 19's Nyjah Hood has the details on the artist and the exhibit. James H. Green is a name that may be unfamiliar to many. Art historians in Orangeburg say although the late artist wasn't very social, his art spoke for itself, and now the public will have the chance to see it. Uh, he had a natural talent for drawing and painting and so forth, but um, it wasn't until um, he began to have some mental problems that really his work come to light. Cecil Williams was one of his best friends. They attended Orangeburg Wilkinson High School together. Green went on to study art at Ohio Wesleyan University, the Art Institute of Chicago, and the School of the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. After Green died due to illness in 2017, Williams discovered nearly 200 of his paintings in the attic of his home where he was confined for many years. Williams helped name, frame, and restore these paintings. But it was my great pleasure that this legacy was left up to me to play a part in and for that I am eternally grateful. Out of those 200 images recovered, about 30 of those images are now on display at the Orangeburg County Fine Arts Center, most of which are being seen by the public for the very first time. Something art critics note of Green's work is Green's use of vibrant colors. Sometimes Green I think is used as a kind of theme in his work. Maybe it's an homage to his name. Maybe it's just a self-actualization, but he particularly was fond of orange and green in many of his compositions. The James H. Green exhibit will be on display through October 26th. For Street Squad Orangeburg, Nigel Hood, News 19 WLTX.